Welcome to Captain's Quarters and in this video I'm going to do how to's so follow me for our next project. Well here we are this is my project uh, for the day I'm going to make my live bait tank for my uh, up and coming season got this off of uh, the internet uh, just about googling it really you find them they're around about 10-15 pound and uh, this one here is what I normally use for my boat. I don't want them too big because obviously if you get too big obviously more water so it makes more weight so you definitely don't want that okay so you get the one you need for your boat but this is the one I'm going to use the lid comes off like so and uh, I normally put that on obviously when I'm going on the boat and travelling around to stop all the splashing around and there's a ring that comes around that as well so uh, Take that off, put that aside, <coughs> and uh, you need to drill two holes in, in the um, tub. You need one for the outlet and one for the inlet of water. Because obviously this is going to be holding um, sand eel, mackerel, and uh, pelt at times. So um, you don't want the level too high on this. Because if you have it too high, you've got all that weight bouncing around there, sort of thing. So you want it about halfway, so the, the weight is keeping it from moving and moving over. And, uh, and then you lose all your water and your <coughs> potentially your live bait. So normally, around about the halfway for the outlet is where you want to go. Because obviously you want the inlet higher than the outlet. You don't want the inlet too high. Because obviously it creates too much water disturbance uh, on the very top which can affect the sand deal and can kill them off. So you definitely don't want that. Um, so let me pick up the uh, tools that I'm going to be use. <coughs> so obviously a drill, the right drill bits to go through the, the um, tub. Two fittings, one obviously bigger outlet, and one smaller inlet, because obviously you don't want too much water going in and it can go out. Otherwise it just overfills. And again, you lose your live bait. I use Silkaflex, a good marine adhesive and um, it, it deals with a lot of flex because obviously when you do this, there's plastic, there's a lot of flex in this tub. So it's really handy for that. So that's what I use. So if I'll just show you that. <coughs> Top tip for this one is once you've used it, if you've not used all of it, put it in the freezer. It stops it going off and curing off, especially at the tip. That's where it normally cures off at the tip. So make sure you do that. Put it in the freezer. The wife might not be happy about it, but don't worry about that. So I'm just going to put that in the gun, all ready to go. <coughs> Get that all ready prepped. So, first off, obviously get the right drill bit, that's, that's the right size, so I'm going to measure this. So, this is about about 35mm diameter, so let's go and see what, so I've got the right drill bit to go in there. You don't want it too big, so obviously the nearest 35mm you can get, so I'm just going to drill this in now. So again, I'm going to have mine around about there, so about the halfway mark, something like that. Okay, so... Is that one done? So I'm going to take the big one off. And don't forget, obviously, to measure the smaller outlet. So this one is around about 22 mil, somewhere around that. Which I've got the right drill bit ready to go. So just put it in. We go. So as I said, you want it just above the outlet sort of thing. You don't want it too high. So I'm just going to put that in there. OK. 
Okay, that one's done. done. Okay. So you just want to... So there you've got the two holes. Outlet, inlet, and make sure you get rid of all the swarf that's inside. Otherwise it only goes in your mastic. That's it. Make sure you clear off the residue of the plastic. Any bits of loose plastic, get it off because that stops it sealing. And if you really want to go belts and braces, you can get a bit of a solvent to clean it up as well. But I'm not going to do that. So, all you need to do now is just dry fit the fittings. Make sure they do fit. So that goes in like that. But in reality, it's going to go that way. Try the smaller outfit as well. There we go. In it goes. So, get your mastic gun ready. <coughs> I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out here. Just to break it. There we go. <coughs> so, it's going to put some on that outer edge there and go all the way around. So, I'll just put it down there. Give it a good old squeeze. Plenty on there. Don't be sparing. You can always take it off once it's squeezed in. Right, so that's that one dump. So don't forget, it's going to go in that way. So get it located, put it in. You can put mastic that side if you like and so round there, but it's not going to be that great really to be honest with you. It's only going out outward water. So as long as you've not got this inside your boat and this water not spilling outside, you'll be okay. So just nip it up. Sometimes you need to grab that and you just nick it up there like that. Just hand tie a do. <coughs> and again, the same with the smaller outlet. So, again, just put some mastic on, spin the fit in as you go around. Again, it doesn't have to be great on this one because this, this is the inlet. Again, push it through. That's it. Screw it up. So it's all nice and snug. I'm going to get this, this side of the fittings a bit harder to hold on to from the inside. Seems to be going up okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. <coughs> so that's uh, now done from the inside. Hopefully you can see, maybe, the inside of that now obviously there's not too much mastic on the outside there it is a liberal bit but I'm gonna leave it I'm not gonna bother you can smear it off and that will be fine um, it's one thing I forgot to mention is hopefully you can see this it's a gauze you need a stainless steel gauze believe it or not this come from a tea strainer um, from the local cheap shop sort of thing. I just cut a bit out of the tea strainer as a, as a gauze. And the reason why you want that gauze is because you need to put it in this fitting, the outlet. So you, you put it inside and you push it into the out, outlet. Because if you don't put an outlet uh, fitting in there, or gauze fitting I should say, what will happen is when you've got your sandals in, they will just fly out the outlet. And Ask me that question, why did that happen? <coughs> well, it happened to me. I've, I had a nice new bucket. 
forgot to put that in, put all the sand hills in, and guess what? They all went because I forgot to put the galls in. Not going to get that problem with a mackerel, not going to get that problem with a uh, pout, but you will with sand hills. So make sure you've got a galls in there. So put it in that way. <coughs> so this, the, um, the water will keep it in place. So that's in place now. Just snug it in, that's it. You can put a bit of mastic in there just to sort of hold it in position. So that there is ready to go. Let's put the lid on. So as you can see, there's your outlet. So the water line's going to be about there, about the halfway mark, somewhere around that. <coughs> Inlet there, not too far of a drop. So not too much water disturbance. Obviously, I will get when I get to the boat. I should put the point fittings on as and as I need them. Um, obviously, for your boats, it depends on how your boat is set up. On my uh, Sea Og Samurai, I used to own. I used to put it on the back seat and uh, have the, the outlet pipe just into the uh, water at the back of the boat. And obviously, the bill, the pump on there, pumping in, sort of thing. <coughs> It's up to you how you set up your uh, water, water intake. A lot of people in our club, they, they use um, bilge pumps, uh, which they can then obviously screw to the transom of the boat, or they do it so they just put it in on the back of the transom when they're going to use their live bait tank. Um, bearing in mind, if you do fit this to the back of your uh, boat, the, the actual pump is constantly in water so there'll be a lot of times when you're not using a pump which is obviously getting affected by the seawater so I recommend that you only install the pump when you're going to be using the live bait tank that way you keep hold of your pump a lot longer and you have to renew it so there it is that's how I have my live bait tank I'll be using it this season and uh, yeah it's going to do, us, do the trick I believe so uh, Never failed me before. I don't see why it will now. The only, the only other top tip I would say, don't put too many mackerel in there. Four maximum, really. Unless you've got joey mackerel, then you can chuck a bit more in there. But if you start putting six, seven, eight mackerel in one of these tubs, you'll just kill them. They, they just haven't got that room to move. So that's what it's, it's all about. I hope this helps you, people. And uh, get yourself a live bait tank. Try it. Go and get some sand eels or some live mackerel, or some pout, whatever you want to try, and uh, give it a go. Let's know how you get on. And I'll see you next time at Shaky Anglers How-Tos. <laughs>